Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, January 4th. I'm Maggie Vlekno, and this is Houston Happens. We're almost done with this week, and in case you missed it, like I've been saying, your clock, it is not wrong, my friends. New year, new time. Houston Happens is now weekdays from 9 to 10 a.m., and it's a good thing, because let me tell you, there is a lot happening in H-Town. In fact, coming up on today's show, ready, set, Party. We are counting down until the Houston football extravaganza. We have a full play-by-play -play of what's happening in Houston leading up to the college national or college football playoff national championship game. And speaking of football, there is drama when it comes to NFL player Aaron Rodgers. We have an update on the explosive interview with the New York Jets star QB in which he made some pretty serious accusations against comedian Jimmy Kimmel. And new weight loss drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy, they're really popular, but they come with a warning from health experts and patients. You definitely don't want to miss this. I feel like everyone's on it, not myself. But that and more is headed your way, so what do you say? Let's get this show started. And as always, we begin with today's top talker. All right, if you've played the old school version of Tetris, you know how difficult it can be. Well, get this. A 13-year-old boy beat it, and you have to check out the exact moment. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Yes! <laughs> hyperventilating and saying, oh my God, oh my God. Well, the teen who goes by Blue Scooty on social media, he actually posted this video on his YouTube page on Tuesday night showing him appearing to defeat the popular puzzle game. Well, according to 404 Media, the record was previously held by an artificial intelligence bot, so no human has broken this record. He also broke world records for overall score, level achieved, and total number of lines, according to that news publication. No word on if Nintendo is going to honor him. But Ido, did you ever play Tetris? I mean, it's tedious. I did, and I love Tetris. Yeah. And that boy's reaction just brought me ultimate joy. Yes, and it takes <laughs> you back to playing. You know, like the old school Nintendo games? Yes. I used to get up, my dad on Saturday mornings, we would sit in front of our oh. TV on Uray Street in Colorado, I remember vividly, and play. And he'd try and, you know, Super Mario Brothers and stuff. I don't know, they, it's nostalgic for me. It, I remember my first Nintendo, uh, uh, we put it on layaway yeah. at Kmart. Oh, Kmart! I used to love Kmart. I still love Kmart. I really wish Kmart Are they still was still around. around. No. Uh, what? They're not around anymore. No, no, unfortunately they're not. Um, but I do remember I am quite the Dr. Mario a master. Really? Mm -hmm. I can beat anyone. That was like my goodbye party when I moved away from um, Idaho. Really? We played a tournament of Dr. Mario. <laughs> I love that. I love Mario Kart too. Yes. Oh, my yes. cousins and I would play that. I remember when they got that game and I didn't have it. Oh, love it. And I, oh, I want to go play now. Me, oh, well, I just got a Wii and I have four wheels. Come on over. You and May, me. Let me tell you, mom's <laughs> gone wild all the time. We know how to party for sure. Here's the thing, is today a good day to maybe have a Nintendo party because is it gonna be gross or nice today? It's actually gonna be really nice. Okay, so take great. advantage of the day, get out because by next week during the day, we possibly could have a pretty strong cold front coming through. Mm -hmm. And then before that, we do have some rain as well. I'll break that down for you here still ahead. But right now I wanna focus on as you head out the door. And here's the other top talker for you, Maggie. Allergy oh, report. No, oh, I have allergies. Do you feel it? Yeah, actually, I felt my sinus and the drippage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, post, post nasal oh, drip with so me, gross too. to say. Oh, so I gross. know, it's but. sexy. It, we're human. We yeah. all have it. I irrigated. It. I irrigated. Oh, good for you. I haven't yet. Oh, uh, it's but so this, good. This is why a lot of you probably do have to irrigate today because tree pollen right now, cedar, 
all the way up. It is cedar season after all. But as uh, we talked a little bit about earlier, it's going to be a really nice day. Check this out. This is the latest view I have from you from our Wells Fargo camera. The sun is out. We don't have clouds in the sky, but it is chilly. So you want to bundle up if you're going out to the playground here in a little bit. Uh, 46 degrees, but it feels like 42 because our winds are coming in from the east southeast around eight miles per hour. And right now we have quite a bit of 40s on the board. 44 in Cleveland, 46 in Conroe. You just see this nice blue pocket that just means it's chilly outside but then this afternoon we get into those low 60s so it's going to feel really nice because the winds are going to be low and then we're going to have lots of sunshine just warming our skin up but tonight that's when we are going to start to see the clouds build in we may have a really nice sunset and then by like eight nine those clouds really start to roll in and then by midnight we'll have the chance of showers uh, the rest of today though nice and sunny so take advantage of today if you do have some errands that need to get done. I'll be breaking down that rainfall, the timing, all of it with future cast coming up here in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks, you know, because I always worry about dropping me off in the morning and when it's raining. Yeah, tomorrow morning I would. Yeah, you'll definitely yeah. want to have a, an extra umbrella for her or something. All right. I can't wait for that. In the meantime, though, before we know it, can you believe it? We are going to be gearing up for Mardi Gras and bakeries are already filling up with flour and sugar. Kenny Lopez is in New Orleans with a preview of the shortest possible carnival season. It's dough time at Haydell's Bakery. It's just getting wound up. They're mixing the frosting, braiding the bread. We braid it the old-fashioned way. All and to create carnivals, sweet treat, yeast. king cakes. So that uh, cinnamon gets mixed all the way through. Extra flavor through the dough. The dough is constantly growing. As you can see, it's a full speed operation here at Haydell's Bakery where they started baking the king cakes around midnight. We're going to get slaughtered between now and the end of Mardi Gras. David Haydell like started gets, making and baking all... king cakes with his dad when he was just 11 years old back in 1959. That's when Haydell's first opened. Since then, he hasn't stopped. We still do it the old-fashioned way. Dough gets the fermentation it needs and stuff. We don't rush it. Yet there's a big rush with it being a shorter carnival season because Mardi Gras is earlier this year. Well, we, we start preparing the middle of summer. At the beginning of carnival, they'll make about 3,000 king cakes a day. But the weekend before Mardi Gras, they'll be making around 8,000 king cakes a day. King cake season, they buy king cake. And of course, it wouldn't be a king cake without the Mardi Gras sugar or the little king cake baby. But it's no child's play getting ready for such a hectic season. We'll go from midnight till sometime four or five in the evening. All the king cakes are made the same way. And it sure doesn't get sweeter than this. At Haydell's Bakery, Kenny Lopez, WGNO News. It's about to sound. This is full poop. Family Law. Season premiere Wednesday, January 17th. Being your own boss lets you work on your terms. With Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, you can find the best coverage for your needs and schedule. Open enrollment is here. Call 1 800 488 1000 or visit findyourplantx.com. Get in person or virtual doctor visits, plus $0 annual checkups. You may qualify for coverage as low as $10 a month. Enroll now for coverage centered around you. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, through it all. Ah, the sweet sound of savings. With Reliance Flex Your Credit's electricity plan, you automatically get your two highest use days free every week, up to eight days a month. Guess what else? You also get bill credits to redeem right in the Reliant app. Scan the code and save with Flex for Credits. Reliant, that's power your way. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered arthritis knee pain centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief 
comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. With four locations in Houston, call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. This is the People's Court. You can do a U-turn if it's safe to do a U-turn. Why would you have to go to a crosswalk to make a U-turn? We don't have enough room for that. Then don't make the U-turn! Weekdays at 11 on CW 39 Houston. Salon Pops, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pops, it's good medicine. The truth revealed. Photos. We found 378 photos that were suspicious. Weekdays at 12 on CW 39 Houston. Welcome back. So with New Year resolutions still on top of all of our minds, weight loss medications have become a popular topic of conversation. Well, joining us now to discuss our medical experts with him and hers, we have Dr. Craig Premack and Dr. Jessica Yu. Thank you guys so much for waking up with us. Thanks for having us. Good morning. Good morning. So Dr. Premack, starting with you, what should people look for when selecting a weight loss program or treatment, would you say? Yeah. So that's a great question. To start with, when you're looking for a medical comprehensive program, that means a couple things to me. Number one, that it's effective. The tools and, and such that you're given work for you. Uh, to make it easier, we also include uh, digital tracking tools for exercise and activity and, and protein uh, and personalized uh, digital content uh, or education. Number two, that it's accessible um, from the convenience of your home uh, with your computer or smartphone, uh, you answer a set of intake questions, looks at your medical history, looks at the medicines you take and what your goals are, uh, and then connects you with a medical provider. And then the third is that it's affordable. Most insurances do not pay for, for weight loss. And so our program, we bypass insurance and uh, the program starts at $79 a month. So it is affordable. That really is. And Dr. Yu, turning to you, many will be making weight loss resolutions over the coming days, myself included. So how can goal setting and resolutions impact weight loss and our mental health? Yeah, I mean, New Year's is a natural time for people to think about the ways that they can improve themselves, build healthy habits, set weight loss goals, so you're in good company. Um, and I think it's great when people capitalize on the energy and spirit of the new year to set these goals. At the same time, we know that the majority of people who set New Year's resolutions actually fail at them by the time February rolls around. And that can have negative effects on their mental health. It can lead to decreased self-esteem, feelings of guilt and shame, decreased motivation, and that makes it that much harder for them to lose weight in the way they want to. And so I always tell people, set your New Year's resolutions, have your goals, that's great, but make sure that they are achievable and realistic for you. It's okay to start small, to have your successes, and to build up over time. I love that. And Dr. Premack, I've been looking at people and I'm like, are you on Ozempic? Like, I feel like everybody, especially when their face gets gone. So when and why should people consider weight loss medications? People ask themselves that question, I think, every day because these medicines are on the news, what we call the injectables. Uh, Hims and Hers has made a conscious choice right now not to offer the injectables for two reasons, really. Number one is they cost a lot. And number two, even if you want to pay that amount of money or can, uh, they're not even readily available. You take your prescription to pharmacy and they're not there. So we made a choice to use an equivalent set of pills uh, four or five different medicines that we put together to personalize and customize it based on your medical history just for you. I think a lot of people are going to want to reach out to you all. Where can we go for more information? Great question. So himsandhers.com. Visit us at any time. Uh, Hims.com. All right. Well, thank you both so much and Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.
Thank you. All right, so we were talking about it a little bit, those new weight loss drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy. They're pretty popular, but they do come with a warning from health experts and patients. Brian Webb brings us the story of how one man says he is actually lucky to be alive. Dave Wilhelmi has been battling type 2 diabetes for 10 years, and his doctor thought the new med on the block, Ozempic, might help, along with two other diabetes drugs. Blood sugars, my A1C, were a little bit high. And so this would be a better way to control uh, my type 2 diabetes. But after a few months on Ozempic and increasingly higher doses, the trouble started, and it was time to get to the ER. They confirmed what I kind of suspe uh, suspected was I was severely dehydrated, and, and that can happen when you take... Uh, some of these these drugs. Dave is not alone. Poison control centers across the country are seeing a spike in calls connected to these drugs. Over the last couple of years, we've seen a doubling in the numbers of calls reported to our center. Dr. Kuhn says the most issues come from a high dose or improper use. You know, when we see patients taking the higher dose or if they accidentally or inadvertently take a, a double dose or some sort of a dose in neural medication, these otherwise tolerable and self-limiting uh, symptoms can be quite uncomfortable and potentially harmful. Dave's three-day hospital stay came after a bad reaction with one of the other diabetes drugs, according to his doctor. Now back at home and on the mend, Dave has a warning for other Ozempic users. If you wait too long, um, it could be fatal. I was lucky. Goodness, that is quite the warning. Well, <laughs> in other news, ready, set, party. We are giving you the play-by-play -play of all of the action around the college football playoff national championship weekend. And joining me is friend of the show and man who knows everything about town, Jonathan Horowitz. He's the president of Houston Hospitality Alliance. Always great to have you on, my friend. Thanks for having me back. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Do you have Thank a good you. New Year? It was fantastic. And yes. now we're hitting the ground running. Yeah, you know, this is a, a great week for Houston. Um, there's one thing that we do really, really well, and that's hospitality. Yes. And so we love bringing people to town, showing off Houston, everything that we have to offer. It is, uh, it's a great time. So we've done it with the Super Bowl. We've done it with Final Four. And now, finally, college football playoff. I'm so excited because I've covered the other events. Yes. So to add this, it's really, it's a dream come yeah, true. There's some great things going on. Yeah, so let's start. You have something with the playoff playlist. Sure. So there are some free concerts going on um, starting tomorrow night, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They're free. Everybody loves free things. Yes. Great music uh, down at the Shell Stadium, which is the soccer stadium downtown. A lot of things will be centered around that kind of downtown and then, of course, uh, the, the stadium for the games. So um, anybody who likes music, family friendly, all of those wonderful things, head out there and enjoy some some free concerts, which yes. is great. And a lot of us, working out is on our bucket list and <laughs> yes. our resolution. So yes. tell us about this trophy trot. Yeah, so if you're an athlete or you're trying to be one or yeah. you have some <laughs> new resolutions, uh, again, you know, family-friendly activities. I think uh, we heard the weather's going to be nice this weekend. Um, so get outside. There's a 5K, there's a 10K also going on downtown. Um, enjoy the weather, get out, bring some family, bring some friends, and enjoy the outdoors. I mean, that's one of the great things about Houston in the winter is you can be outside. Speaking of which, we've got yes. so many great patios at local places. Oh, man, yes. So, you know, Houston is the most diverse city in the country. Uh, fantastic foods from all around the world. Wonderful restaurants, wonderful bars, and we love to eat outside. And yeah. so there's one in particular over kind of on the Washington Ave corridor, FM Kitchen and Bar. They're doing some great specials. Some, they have fantastic food. They're doing some awesome drink specials for the game on Monday night. Um, but, you know, we really want everybody to go out and just support all their local restaurants and go out find out go to their websites call them up what are you doing for the game right everybody should be doing something special for the game on monday night and you know we love to eat out we love to eat outside and this is a great opportunity to do that and since we are like i like to say i'm the hostess with the most yes. is what are you hoping people that come and visit for the first time in houston that they gain you know people have all kinds of different reasons for coming to houston and no matter what that is every time they do they say man it's fantastic i had no idea it was yes. this great so we want people to get out Enjoy the local food, enjoy the local beverage, the service, and the hospitality. That's what we're all about at the Hospitality Alliance. And we want everybody who's coming from wherever they are around the country or just locals who are coming in to enjoy what's going on. 
support local restaurants, support local bars. It's been tough over the past few years, you know, we're still kind of coming out of COVID. Uh, we need all the support we can get in the industry. There are really, really fantastic places all around town. You can get anything you want. That's what I love. Yeah. I mean, I know I have family from Colorado and they were like, we're never going to go visit Houston. And then when they came to my wedding, they said, yes. gosh, it's absolutely amazing here. And I have to say, I'm proud yes. of our hospitality and all that we have yeah. to offer. So again, what's a good way people can kind of find out the local establishments? You said just call them up? Or? Well, I mean, if you've got your local favorites, uh -huh. right, just give them a call, go to their websites, check out their social media. You know, so much now is, is done over social media. Um, everybody should be advertising what they're doing. Uh, of course, your website has some great information yes. as well. Everybody can go there. Um, and then check out uh, the local um, sports authority and college football playoff websites. They've got some great suggestions as well. And they're actually going to be joining us in the yes. second half hour. And who are you rooting for? Anybody? You, you know what? I want to see a good competitive game. And I think we're going to get it. We I think definitely we're get it. are. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's always a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. Yes, pleasure. and hopefully we will have you back for some more. Would love events. to. Anytime. We love it. All right. Well, stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston happens after the break. They're not ordinary nerds. Who wants to get their shell on? They're super nerds of comedy. Yeah, I wish we looked as cool dancing in clubs as we do right now. The Big Bang Theory, weeknights at 6 and 6.30 on CW39 Houston. Introducing RK Non-Alcoholic Spirits, the responsible alternative. RK Look smells, burns, and tastes like alcohol, but without the hangover. No carbs and no sugar, but 100% fun. RK, your drink your way. Join the responsible revolution. Great news, Houston. Medicare annual enrollment may be over, but our five-star rating means you can enroll year-round in a plan that gives you more. We've increased our dental benefit up to $3,500. Our vision network now includes a variety of popular retailers. And with OnePass, our expanded fitness benefit, you have access to nearly 600 fitness locations all across Greater Houston. There are even flex card benefits and OTC allowances to help with everyday medical expenses. Plus, unlike original Medicare, we cover so much more than just hospital and medical insurance all at no additional cost. No wonder we've been rated five stars by Medicare for eight years running. More access, expanded benefits, year-round enrollment. Get it all with Kelsey Care Advantage. Enroll now, 713-442-7946. We were real ran there. Everything happened just so fast. Calling Terry Bryan was just way lifted off her shoulders. From then on, they took care of everything. They just telling us right away, get yourself taken care of. Don't worry about anything else. That just made us feel great. I feel like I was part of a family. They made me feel like they knew me. I would definitely recommend them. My name is Josai, and Terry Bryan stood up for me. Call 713-973-8888. 713-973-8888. The passion. Epic highlights. Inspirational stories. Unrivaled coverage. This is H-Town High School Sports with Todd Freed. Saturday nights at 10 on CW39 Houston. Introducing RK Non-Alcoholic Spirits, the responsible alternative. RK Look smells, burns, and tastes like alcohol, but without the hangover. No carbs and no sugar, but 100% fun. RK, your drink your way. Join the responsible revolution. You gotta step up and man up. I'm Big Dad. Watch the drama unfold. You are the fun. Get the hell off my stage. Weekdays starting at 12 on CW39. The big news, new year, new time for Houston Happens. We have been starting early now and we will continue from 9 to 10 a.m. So you know what that means. We still have a lot to come on today's show.
are you ready for some college football? As Houston gears up for the college football championship, we will be spilling the tea on the best watch parties in H-Town. It's also the beginning of a new year and you're super excited to start the year off, right? So why not set yourself up for success with top tested essentials by our friends at Best Reviews. And a man discovered this super rare ceramic art and you're never going to guess where it is. We're telling you more after we come back from the break. Stay tuned. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Kroger, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win-win-win. Kroger, fresh for everyone. I was driving home. I got hit in the back. He was a drunk driver. He didn't have a license. He didn't have a license. He had insurance, but no license. It was scary. My grandmother told me to call the Texas Hammer. She's like, Jim Madler. I said, like, okay, I'll call him. From there on, I didn't have to worry about nothing. They dealt with everything. Tell him what you need, and he'll take care of you. Grandma knows best, and so do I. Tell me what you need, and I'll take care of it. 713-777-4000. In order for small businesses to thrive, they need to be smart, efficient, savvy, making the most of every opportunity. That's why Comcast Business is introducing the Small Business Bonus. For a limited time, you can get up to a $1,000 prepaid card with qualifying internet. Yep, $1,000. So switch to business internet from the company with the largest, fastest, reliable network. Give your business a head start in 2024 with this great offer. Plus, ask how to get up to a $1,000 prepaid card with qualifying internet. Switch today. Texas Quality Plumbing. Com. We fix faucets and sinks, toilets that leak, drains that back up, showers and tubs. We're Texas Quality Plumbing. We're gas lines, water heaters, yard drains, drain cleaners. Yeah, we're the plumbing pros. The trusted name that Houston knows. Texas Quality Plumbing. Com. You've been hurt in a car accident that wasn't your fault. You've always paid your insurance premiums on time, and now the insurance company wants you to settle, and settle for cheap. It feels like the odds are stacked against you. At Simmons & Fletcher, we make it our mission to help the injured. These aren't just cases to us, these are people's lives. If you've been injured in an accident, contact us today. The consultation is always free. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. There's a new client in the boardroom. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little sibling rivalry. This is bull poop. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't say anything. It's preemptive. Family Law. Season premiere Wednesday, January 17th on The CW. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Kroger, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. All I do is That's a win-win-win. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Well, are you ready for some college football? I'm so excited because Houston is gearing up for an extensive four-day celebration of college football. And we have June Dedrick. She is the chair of the 2024 Houston Host Committee. She is joining us live. This is what I love. Thank you so much. I know you're super busy, so thank you for coming on the show. A lot of things are free. A lot of things are free. We have what we call an indoor amusement park. Fan Fest. Yes. We are taking over the George R. Brown. There are all kinds of things. There are player interviews. There are college football Hall of Fame folks to get autographs from. We even have a puppy bowl down there. Who doesn't love puppies down there? We have an indoor zip line. The George R. Brown is truly going to be like an indoor Astro World. What football fans absolutely love, everything you'll get to see down there. And you know I'm so excited because I'm giving you guys a sneak peek. I'm broadcasting there live tomorrow morning. 
morning. So thank you for letting me in before you open to the public. When does it open? For it opens Friday at noon okay. and it'll be open Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Three days. You can come every day and experience something different every day that we're down there. And remember, again, it's free. It's family friendly and we're encouraging folks to come out. Spend the weekend down in Houston. Yes, it's so much to offer too. And families, especially after the holidays, the fact that it's free, that means so much. You know what else means a lot is that you guys are focusing on education and teachers. Well, the CFP Foundation, they are all about education and teachers. And when Houston got the bid, one of the things we wanted to do was tailor that for our local community. Okay. And we wanted to concentrate on the three R's, recognition, mm -hmm. recruitment, and retention of good qualified teachers. And with our Houston Loves Teachers campaign, we've been able to do that. We've been able to support teachers with donor choose gift cards, allowing teachers who we know go in their own pockets yeah. to support their classrooms, to give them some uh, help getting those materials that they need for their classrooms. And a couple of our events this weekend specifically will help us raise money to continue this. Long after the game is over with on Monday night, we'll continue to work with our Houston Loves Teachers campaign for years to come and so our taste of the championship yeah, tell me about this we talk about Houston and the great food that we yes. have in Houston the taste of the championship is an opportunity for people to come and sample cuisine from about 35 of Houston's top restaurants we're talking old school like Brennan's and Frenchies we're talking some of our new things like crawfish and noodles any kind of cuisine you could want we've got it down there and it's going to be held at Minute Maid Park mm -hmm. at Union Station and then spilling out into Minute Maid Park 35 plus Houston restaurateurs but the ticket price the ticket is what helps us with our Houston Loves Teachers campaign that money is going to stay right here in our community continuing that. to help our educators who in turn are helping our communities this is really incredible what are you looking forward to most this weekend I'm really looking forward to the taste of the championship and to also our summit for teachers we have a summit where we're going to be doing an in-service for about 3,000 teachers free of charge again at the George R. Brown and our registration went so fast that we've actually going to have remote sites set up so people can be able teachers can again be able to participate even though they can't be at the Georgia at, at the Wortham Center where that's going to be happening so thank you all for what you're doing you definitely make H-Town proud and this is such a great destination for people to come to there's a lot going on so where can everybody go to follow along at www.houston2024 Dot com. That's where you're going to have all of your information. You'll be able to see everything that's going on. I love it. And don't forget to follow along on social media. I hope I see you out there tomorrow. You will. Who knows? I'm going to try and kick and maybe I'll do a zip line. I don't know. You never know what I'm going to get into. Thank you again. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to come Thank on you. my show. And let me be real. If there is anyone who knows how to throw a watch party, it is NFL player and owner of Quad HTX. We have our good friend of the show, Michael Brookers. I'm so excited to have you on. Oh, thanks for Happy having New me. Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So this is very exciting. Yes, I wish you know. that you guys had smell of vision This food is lit. Man, Honey, is... tell me, what are you serving up? Uh, these are uh, two of our flavored uh, Ribs, our fried ribs, which is uh, this is our honey glaze, and this is our um, our sriracha, sriracha, that, sriracha yeah. and this is our honey garlic sriracha wings. This is our this is what we're known for right here. Our wings are what we're known for. Yeah, they're not basic because there's no. nothing basic about you. I mean, no, look at this basic, man. Right. There is nothing basic about stop this it, man. Stop Everyone stop gets it. so excited when you walk in, and really? your smile lights oh, up the you. room thank for you. sure. So tell us a little bit about the specials and how we can come watch everything. Okay. So so we're doing a watch party for the Washington and Michigan game. I, I'm a I former say. Lion, so I, I know a little bit about Michigan football. You, you think, know, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling like they're going to flood the city. I feel like they're going to flood the city with I think it's uh, maize and blue or whatever yeah, they're called. Yeah, the yeah, some the big My dad's blue. Ohio, so I can't. Yeah, you can't I'd root be for Michigan. Yeah, 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 for sure, <laughs> for sure. But uh, for the most part, we're doing a watch party for the uh, eight or four to nine p.m. Um, to watch the game. So whoever. Any alumni, Washington alumni, um, any uh, Michigan alumni, they, they're free and welcome to come to Quad Houston. And you have experience, mm -hmm. I mean, player in the NFL, mm -hmm. 
to all of these young guys playing. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is huge for them. What advice mm -hmm. would you give them? Um, man, it, you know, for a lot of guys, it, you know, nobody gets this opportunity. This is a national championship game. Um, you know, you only got one chance. You only got one shot at this. Give it your all. I mean, I know it's cliche, but it's literally this is your last chance, you know, for a championship. So give it your all. I love seeing these young guys because, mm -hmm. I mean, and they have nothing to lose. Like you said, right. just give it your all give and play your with all. your heart. Yes, ma'am. How are you feeling about just the NFL season in general? Who um, you got your eye on? I got my eye on a little bit of everybody, man. I, this was the first year I was able to be a fan. Yeah. So uh, I'm, you know, uh, 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 what they call it, a bandwagon fan for a <laughs> lot of teams, you know. So I'm rocking with Houston this year. You know, definitely the Lions. You know, the Rams are doing really well right now. So, uh, you know, all my former teams and, you know, Houston, because I'm here and I'm watching C.J. Stroud do his thing. So I'm excited. And mm -hmm. he's humble. That's mm -hmm. what I love. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Saturday, mm -hmm. I say we just should just stay at your place all right. weekend. Oh, for sure. Because for we sure. can watch the game on Saturday, too, right? Yes, you can. All yes, right, so can. tell everybody exactly where you're located. Uh, it's 4608 Almeda Road. Um, if you're familiar with Houston, it's a couple of blocks away from Turkey Leg Hut. Yeah. Um, black building. Signage is coming soon, but um, when you get in there, it's, it's, it's going to amaze you. So mm -hmm. being a player and having everybody come to your establishment, mm -hmm. how does that feel? It feels awesome, you know, for a player to, you know, have something going on. You know, I'm having, you know, motion. It's, it's not easy, but, you know, to see the business actually growing, um, you know, we're growing in the city, um, you know, word of mouth, and I'm, I'm loving it. We're growing it organically, which I love. Well, I love when good things happen to good people, and yes, you're a good person. Thank, so you, yes, thank you so much for bringing in the new year. And again, yes, you want to check out Quad H. Yes. All right. Together and just forgot. Have you guys heard about this? Talk to me. Okay. The explosive interview, Aaron mm. Rodgers. Uh-uh. You got to show it to oh, me. Oh, honey. <laughs> so we actually have an update on this explosive interview. It was mm -hmm. explosive with mm -hmm. New York Jets star Aaron Rodgers in which the quarterback made some very serious accusations against comedian Jimmy Kimmel. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a mess. So Sam Rubin, he's breaking it all down for us. Thanks so much. It is a new year and time to make amends for an offense committed this year. Sports broadcaster Pat McAfee has a very popular show and on it, the quarterback Aaron Rodgers made a suggestion that TV talk show host Jimmy Kimmel may be a name included in the famous Jeffrey Epstein list. Kimmel took exception to that quip, saying the joke is dangerous and that he has never met Epstein and has no association with him. And now from Wednesday morning, Pat McAfee says that he's sorry at the very least that this upset took place on his show. We'd like our show to be an uplifting one, a happy one, a fun one, but it's because we talk and try to make light of everything. Mm -hmm. Some things, obviously, people get very pissed off about, especially when they're that serious allegations. So we apologize for being a part of it. Can't wait to hear what Aaron has to say about it. Hopefully those two will just be able to settle this. All right, well, some more NFL drama. Most of the charges against Patrick Mahomes' little brother, Jackson Mahomes, they've been dismissed by prosecutors. Malik Jackson actually reports the alleged victim stopped cooperating. All right, so the court will go ahead and have the state's motion to voluntarily dismiss counts one through three. Nearly a year after Jackson Mahomes allegedly forced himself on a woman at an Overland Park bar, actions cut on videos seen by millions. The three most serious charges he faced are dismissed. In a decision that the state made clear to point out that their hand was forced after the victim, in their words, pulled a complete 180. They detailed how far along in the case they were and how things derailed. So cooperative that to that point, she told our office that she didn't want us to accept any plea deals or make any plea offers and that she only wanted to testify and have her day in court. The state saying the alleged victim had started the process of preparing for today, what was supposed to be the preliminary hearing. That changed when her attorney said she not only would plead the fifth, but she would go one step further, assisting the defense by saying the actions on that night in her restaurant were consensual. I did domestic violence cases for 14 years. A recanting victim was pretty much the norm. Mahomes sitting nearly silent for the 15 minute or so hearing, speaking just twice to answer the judge as his mom, Randy, and his dad, Patrick Mahomes Sr., watched on. are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. 
special guest, Bill O'Reilly on Cuomo. The one and only. TV's liveliest, most honest debate. If you disagree with me, you're not even listening to what I'm saying. Tonight at 8, 7 central. It's good to see you, big man. Only on News Nation. I'd like to say this is the first time, but there have been others. How many? <laughs> Who can keep track? You think this is a joke? Darling, we need answers, and you're gonna give them to us. Tell us again. My car broke down, I brought it here. I got stuck paying an expensive repair bill. So it's true. How much, darling? $2,300, but I... $2,300? Well, what was I supposed to do? My transmission was shot! You pick up your phone and you call Car Shield before the car breaks down. Plans through Car Shield cover up to 5,000 parts and systems in your car. That's right. A plan through Car Shield could save you on some criminally high auto repairs, especially if your car is out of warranty. So, call Car Shield, America's number one auto protection company, before a breakdown and save yourself from getting stuck in car repair jail. Let me guess. You hate saving money. <laughs> Who hates saving money? Apparently, you do. All you had to do was call Car Shield. <laughs> and you could have protected yourself against expensive repairs. Yeah, and then my price will go up the minute I file a claim. Shut up! Car Shield has the price locked in. For as long as you cover your car. I guess I should have called Car Shield. Ah! It's about time you said something that made sense. Now you know what you need to do next time. Bet he'll call Car Shield now. So can I go? Or don't get handcuffed paying expensive auto repairs. Call now and get the Car Shield guarantee. Your price will never go up and your coverage will never go down as long as you cover your car. In just minutes, you could have a plan that covers up to 5,000 parts and systems in your car. Don't wait until it's too late. Get Car Shield's best coverage yet. Call 800-988-0846. 800-988-0846. If I want to throw away money, I'll play Keno. Can I gamble in Vegas? No. Then why am I going? Because all the kennels are full. Two and a half men, tonight at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. has a couple of branches left, this is how you can properly dispose it. So Houston Solid Waste Management has 23 Christmas tree drop-off recycling locations open until Friday, January 26th. So you have time. What you're seeing right now, this is actually a map with locations available to recycle your tree. Remember to remove all of your lights and ornaments, even if you don't like some of the ornaments. And note that flocked, artificial, or painted trees will not be recycled. Okay, Ido, this is the longest my tree has ever been up. Really? It's artificial, yes. You I don't even wait for Dia de los Reyes? The epiphany? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm a basic block. I speak French, I'm like, the what? The epiphany? I think that. You know, no, I usually take it down around New Year's, and I've just been so busy with this show expanding and being a mom that I haven't done it yet. You know what? My tree is going to be up until probably the first week of February, so don't even worry about uh, it. Do not feel bad at all. It makes me feel a lot better. Do you know what I saw? <laughs> this one mom, she's like, don't take your tree down. Just mm -hmm. redecorate it for every holiday. I've to me, seen that. Seems that. a lot. That is too much for me. Like, and I our get tree it. Is big, so that'd be, a, yeah, that just seems. Uh, plus, you have to like find like St. Patrick's Day ornaments. Yeah. And how much is that gonna cost? These are those moms that have all that time on Instagram. No offense to those moms, because I follow you. And I, I do get a too. Lot of advice. I do too. I also get a lot of anxiety because we're not doing that. 100%. Like, I definitely have to like watch their videos with a little caution and be like, you know what? She is doing this as a career. Yes. I have something else that's pressing. And I love when they're all promoting the same item on the same day because you follow multiple ones and I'm like oh <laughs> oh I'm on to you now maybe they should be promoting umbrellas 
Because we may need one tomorrow. You like that segue? I love it. You are the queen of segues, ma'am. Just trying. That's why they pay for the bus. <laughs> Just trying. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's talk about that rain. We do have a couple of days here where we're going to be seeing some fronts roll through. Here's a look at our five-day rain potential. This isn't what we're getting tonight or tomorrow night. This is what we're going to be accumulating here over the next couple of days. And we could be getting close to three inches, especially around the coastline. So here's a breakdown for the next five days. We do have a chance of rain for tonight that goes into tomorrow morning and then we quickly do dry out because by Saturday and Sunday it is going to be so nice. Please everyone just tell me right now. Promise me you're going to go outside and yes, take advantage. You know, yes. Thank you. At least <laughs> I got one. <laughs> and then by Monday we do have a stronger cold front that's going to be coming through. It's going to be affecting our morning commute just like the Friday morning uh. one. So yeah, great planning there. But here's a look at that little rainmaker coming in for tonight into tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and break it all down for you now with future casts. For the rest of today, it's going to be sunny. A few little clouds popping up along the southern counties. By tonight, the clouds start to build in. And as I roll this to about midnight, you'll see right there, stop the clock. There is some rain already starting to pop up. And then by 3 a.m., when we come into work, there is a chance of seeing some stronger showers popping in and out of the region. And then by tomorrow morning, just look at that. It's going to be yucky so do plan a few extra minutes for your commute because it's going to be rainy the roadways are going to be wet and then by tomorrow morning 9 a.m there we go the front is starting to move off to the east and look at that noon we're getting that clearing so it's not going to stick around for all day but maggie by tomorrow afternoon it's going to be nice and sunny and then by monday that's when that next rainmaker comes. 70% chance of rain, breezy conditions on top of that. Uh, you know, I'll take the cooler weather, though. I love the cooler Me weather. Too, especially in January. It cannot be 74 in January. Just yeah, January. exactly. But Unless then, I'm on a beach. No, yeah, well, you and me. Okay. Noted. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> well, here's the thing. It's the beginning of a new year, Ito, and I know that we are super excited to start the year off right. So why not set yourself up for success with top tested essentials? Olivia Horton is actually standing by with the top products to jumpstart your new year from Consumer Resource Best Reviews. The new year is the perfect time to obtain your goals, so Best Reviews has rounded up the top products to help you jumpstart the new year the right way. The best place to start is with the perfect plan, and the Amazon Echo Show 15 is the perfect to stay on track. With more than a 15-inch touchscreen, it hangs on the wall, making it easy to write notes, utilize various apps, and stream movies and TV. You can access everything needed by utilizing Alexa, and also allows for the ability to video chat so you can get work done while catching up on your New Year's plans. Another way we can get organized and save money at the same time is with OXO Good Grips five piece pop container set. Best reviews found in their testing labs that these airtight containers come in a good variety of sizes, making them perfect for the pantry. And speaking of food, a great way to stay healthy is a healthier diet and the air fryer from Philips. Their digital twin Turbostar air fryer double XL is best for large households. A user-friendly premium air fryer with a large cooking capacity and a range of cooking sets at the push of a button made with dishwasher-friendly parts, saving you even more time in the new year. You can save money on your workout equipment with the Bowflex Select Tech Adjustable Dumbbells. This is a full-featured set that helps users obtain a variety of workouts without any unnecessary hassle. Simple to attach and remove, making it easy for users to switch between workouts, each set comes with a stand for storage. Speaking of working out, Apple is helping you make it more enjoyable with Apple AirPods Pro second generation. With new and advanced features include volume adjustment controls and precision finding, which allows you to locate lost AirPods using an iPhone. You'll be singing along on your next workout. And while listening to those tunes on your run, you want to track the trip too. The Apple Watch Ultra 2, Best Reviews has tested the original Apple Watch Ultra, including ski trips in blazing summer weather, worn all day and night, and it never failed. So no matter your athletic level, this watch has got you covered. Hope some of those products will help you jumpstart your new year by obtaining your goals. For more on any of these products and others, just head to bestreviews.com or scan the QR code on the screen. 
My husband has those weights and they are amazing. All right, so we wanna tell you about something else amazing. We wanna tell you about a pretty cool discovery in a building that was about to meet its doom and it's good it didn't. It's a piece of pottery dating back to the early 1900s and it is finally getting some attention. Nick Broadway takes a look at this rare find. Before tearing down a shed for a house building project, Johnny Hinson and his friends decided to look inside to see if there was anything of value in there. They found suitcases packed full of clothes, lots of dishes, and this pottery pedestal. Hinson showed us the plot of land where the shed once stood before his friend tore the property down to build a new home. I just kind of, kind of glanced in it. I saw some yard equipment, so I said, let me see if there's anything worthwhile. We found weed eaters, 20 suitcases, looked like they were packed yesterday, and ain't nobody in this house for two years. And then I'm starting looking around and I find this thing. I said, whoa, I like that. And he's pulling out all these things and Johnny's kind of got it amazed by everything. So this, it was just a beautiful find. So I said on my daughter's house over in Hayes, six or eight days later, she calls me up and says, Dad, Get this piece of junk off my, off my, off my porch. <laughs> While finding it a place that's more out of sight and out of mind, Hinson noticed something carved on the top. Frederick Hurton Reed, 1902. Wow. Reed was a well-known potter, celebrated for his intricate ceramic art. Thinking he might have accidentally dug up treasure, Hinson went digging for info. He spoke with staff at the Museum of Ceramics in Liverpool, Ohio. They told him this is a credible find and it appears to be part of a larger ceramic piece. And I assume you set the vase on there, and we have no clue where it's at. And so, does the vase look like this? We, we don't know. This four-tile piece made by Reed sold for more than $600,000 a few years ago. Another vase of his sold for half a million. Who knows the value of this pedestal, found in a shed full of junk? Whoever got this, I'm not sure they knew what they had, and they stuck it in a building. Multiple art publications and auction houses reached out to him since, including National Shelley China Club and Koval's Antique Trader Magazine. Henson says he's still thinking about the end goal for where he wants this to wind up. He just hopes it finds a good home. I got into a wreck last year. When, when she hit us and tried to drive off is when I decided that we needed an attorney. I, I kept thinking about who to call, who to call, who to call, and then Jim Adler, I thought I'm gonna call him. I don't think I've ever been taken care of that good. They went the extra mile. Terrible wreck, who do you call? Me, I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. I go the extra mile to get you the help you need. Call Jim Adler now. The most important thing is family. AAA shares the same family values. For over 100 years, AAA has been providing legendary service and has helped who it values most, its members. Join our family, and you could save hundreds on your auto insurance policy with our competitive pricing. That could make a real difference to your budget. The savings you could earn by switching to AAA insurance will allow you to do more of what you love and spend more time with those who matter most. Now is a great time to review your auto insurance policy. Our team of qualified agents are here to help you with a free quote. AAA Roadside Assistance with AAA Auto Insurance keeps you covered when you're on the road and when you can't get back on it. To find out how much you could save by switching to AAA Insurance, call 844-AAA Insurance or visit AAA.com slash insurance for your free auto insurance quote today. You'll be glad you did. AAA, we're always with you. You've been in an accident. It's time to call Simmons & Fletcher. It's our job to fight for your settlement fast. No hassles, no upfront fees, and no runaround. The insurance company may try to bully you, but they can't bully Simmons & Fletcher. Call us today and find out if you have a case for free. We've been helping the injured in Houston since 1979. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. Have you heard the news? Volume. Son of a Critch is now on Thursdays. Yes, Mark. What is happening? It's the hit series from the producer of Shit's Creek. And change? Smells like puberty to me. It's in the air. Accept what is and let go of what was. New season. New night. And stream every episode from the beginning on The CW. Oh, it's... Son of a Critch. Tonight at 8, 7 central. 
true. Separate fact from fiction. You are the father. He can see the Maury truth. Maury, today at 1 on CW39 Houston. to stream certain things. So if you're wondering what you can watch this week, Dean Richards has the latest releases on streaming platforms. Check it out. You must miss him. It's complicated. Yeah, love is that way. Schitt's Creek star Daniel Levy directs, writes, and stars in the dramedy Good Grief. He's a man mourning the loss of his husband who takes his friends on a trip to Paris to try to get away from it all, but finds some surprises in the City of Lights. Streaming begins Friday on Netflix. He doesn't really see me anymore. Oscar nominee Shercha Ronan and Paul Mescal star as a couple on a quiet rural farm dealing with a frightening uninvited guest in the thriller Foe. See it Friday on Amazon Prime. And on Netflix, there's Society of Snow, the true story of an Uruguayan rugby team who survive a plane crash in the Andes and go to unimaginable lengths to survive. This is not our war. Also this week, there's the seventh installment of the Transformers series. Transformers Rise of the Beasts features Anthony Ramos and Dominique Fishback joining the Autobots and Maximals, fighting off a takeover of the planet. See it Friday starting on Prime Video. Our family is head of the Jade Dragon. For new streaming series this week, Oscar winner Michelle Yeoh is the head of a Taiwan crime family who brings her two sons in to protect the family business in Brother's Son. Streaming begins tomorrow on Netflix. There's also the crime thriller Fool Me Once about a widow who uncovers her husband's secret life after he's supposedly been murdered. Catch it on Netflix now. Tons of money just starts flooding in. 100,000, another 100,000. There's also the true crime documentary series BitCon, in which three guys exploit the cryptocurrency market to scam millions from investors. Catch it on Netflix now. On Amazon Prime, take a trip through the culture of India in the travelogue series James May, Our Man in India. Streaming begins Friday. And finally, now on Netflix, there's You Are What You Eat, a twin experiment in which identical twins are given two different diets to look at the possible effects. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video picks and right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. And I hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. Thank you, Dean. And Time flies when you're having fun, folks. That is nearly a wrap on today's show. But before we go, here is a look at today's sponsored content. And we have almost survived the first week of January. If you're like me, it's been a little slow and go. But guess what? Get excited. Tomorrow is Friday, and we will see you back here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and Friday, you know the deal. Sometimes I take the show on the road and I am so excited because as we were talking about earlier in the show, I'm gonna be at the GRB at the Fan Zone. Chad's gonna be there. I'm gonna see if I could possibly be a kicker. I mean, put me in coach. So you do not want to miss this. It's gonna be so much fun. You can always catch up on everything going on around Houston over on our website, CW39.com. Just click on the Houston Happens tab. In the meantime, that is a wrap for now. My friends, have a great rest of your day. Please be safe driving tomorrow morning and tune in to No Wait Weather and Traffic and then Houston Happens. Bye for now.